I don't care about your opinion. You know, I, it doesn't it doesn't matter to me. I don't care. I care how you look at me, what you think about me. I I don't care. This is who I am, and and this is what I'm gonna do. You either like it or leave it. Born in Sandy Grande, but based in New York, Charlene said she needed to come back home to share her funk with her homeland. She believes Trinidad needs people like her because she's of the view the local industry lacks originality. And how I find the fashion industry, you want me to be real? Yes. It's boring. It's boring. It's just boring. Everybody's a fashion designer in Trinidad. Social me media makes everybody a fashion designer. And like I say, they don't really pay, they didn't pay the dues. You know, some of them didn't, you know, some did. And more power to those who did. In fact, Charlene isn't sure that Trinidad is ready to call what it has an industry. Because as a designer, she finds the fashion infrastructure wanting. You first have to have good pattern makers. Then you have to have graders. You have to have technical designers. I don't know if they don't, I, I know one technical designer here. Giselle Brizan, that's it. I don't know any other technical designer in Trinidad. And a technical designer pays a big, plays a big part in the fashion industry. And then you have to have markers. They don't even have the machine here to make a marker. A marker is a machine that cuts the fabric in the required sizes for mass production. It reduces fabric wastage and is an essential part of the fashion production process. However, she was able to have the pieces for Afrofunk's spring summer collection produced locally. She is very critical of the fashion output as well. She says the look here is short and tight and more variety is needed. But a few designers like James Hackett and his bright prints have caught her eye. Brown cotton, she, she, got, she got some stuff that's jumping, you know, it's, 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 it's jiggy. Um, I like this chick's jewelry, um, Jacqueline Charles, uh, Coco Carib. Yeah, I like her jewelry, and I like Coco Vintage. I'm in love with her jewelry right now, the local, the local designers. I, li I like her jewelry. Um, basically, that's, that's it. Charlene's message to designers, be original, create your own funk. Sweeney Gray, C-News.